Right now, I'm in Northridge in my apartment. I had some anxiety moments before. I didn't need to be here for fall semester. Plus, the dollar expensive. Everything was changing so fast and so quick. So if I don't make a decision, I'm literally gonna stay here and I'm gonna be homeless. So I need to go back home. My situation around coronavirus was bad, but from afar, it was not the worst it could be. No, no one in my family got sick, thank God. And it was very good to see them again. It's I feel like when I'm here around them, I feel that they are more safe. You know, I, I cannot do really anything, but you know, it's just better when you, you know, around them. Close friends from mine, they caught corona like as soon as I got here. So it's not as if things were getting better, you know, it's just the same, but I feel like people are forgetting about how serious this is. Down here, we're having a lot of problems with uh, people that do not respect the quarantine. We have been watching so many times when a public worker, they try to warn someone who doesn't have a mask and they get humiliated by a citizen who refuses to wear a mask. So you go to the beach right now and you're gonna see people surfing and tanning and walking in the beach. You know, and we are in the mark of 80,000 dead because of coronavirus. So I don't know what the hell is going on through like, through everyone's mind in Brazil, but situation is very bad, just like in LA too. Eu tive que pegar o corpo do meu filho e botar dentro de um caixão, pois é. dentro de um saco. Não, você não pode falar que é fake news. Mas eu acho que é uma fake news. Não, não, eu quero te explicar. There's part of the population that took that very serious and they are still very concerned. Unfortunately, I even feel like America, like government and, for example, CSUN that offer like money for students that they were not being able to work. Unfortunately, Brazil's government, I don't know, they're not able to provide the same like money supply for people that can't work. So they see themselves in a situation in which there's no help. There's no one to ask for help. They have to go to work. They have to face completely full crowded buses. Literally like they have to, because there's no other way they're gonna be able to get their money from. So that's where it's sad to watch. You, we see a lot of children in the streets asking for money, asking for food, which has always been a scenery like in Rio. That's normal thing here. But the difference in between the, the classes are way, way, way worse. So which would be considered like poverty in California, it's not the same poverty as down here. It's a whole like, problem of system and, you know, of years and years and thousands of years that has been coming through where we are right now. But because of that, government doesn't really do anything. Another thing that caught my attention to in comparison to America is that we're not really being tested out here. They, they say like, oh, you're coughing, you have like shortness of breath, you, I don't know, like, you know, you have fever or you have no taste in your butt, so yeah, you have coronavirus and then you become one more number, but you don't even got tested for it because the system in Brazil, it doesn't support. I feel like in a pandemic like this one, the bad parts, they get stronger. Regarding the government, regarding the system, regarding the environment, it gets three times worse because now we're in a pandemic. It's very hard sometimes like to keep hopes on like so many people lost their jobs and that's so heartbreaking because I know Brazilians are struggling. Like, I know, thank God I'm not like, I'm privileged, but you know, around me, the hospitals are so full of people. They have no like beds to lay on hospitals. At some point they lay in the halls. Like, that's reality in Brazil right now. Like, I was thinking that like, because New Year's is such a big thing in Brazil and after New Year's we have carnival. So, you know, expectations were very, very high as always. Because Brazilians are party people, we know we don't really like to be behind. But I thought, I really thought that New Year's 
you would be able to like party a little bit but honestly i don't even think we will and i don't even think we should i think things have to be this way for the longer because it's a lot of people dying we are managing to keep our things going and not leaving the house you know that's how it has to be for now so you know we might have we just have to cooperate i feel you know find the best the best way to make things a little bit easier right even in like hard times i feel you know keep seeing the small things and you know just being you know, thankful i feel yeah i think that's it bye thank you